Hi, welcome to KTV5 video tutorial. I want to sh show you how to do a proper Diabolo without using the Diabolo tool. Okay. And you could use this probably for a user defined feature. So let's have some fun with KTV5. So I am aware that there is already a Diabolo command or tool in Katia, but I want to show you how to do it on your own. So let's go for some geometrical sets. Insert one and insert two more into this one and another one again into this one. Then go to geometrical set one, make it the active one. Okay, I need a sketch because I need a surface that might be on that plane. Hide as usually yellow projected elements and let's do a spline which could look something like this. Okay, make an extrude make it symmetric and let's go for 100 okay let's hide this sketch now i need a point on that plane usually you have the point and then you go for the diablo so i will make a point right on that surface select it default middle would be nice make the distance zero and okay now i've got a point right there i want to make uh, two sweeps and you could do it with a circle a 3d circle or with a sketch and if you do sketch you need a plane so we'll go for a plane so let's go for a plane make it through point reference would be this one and the point would be that one and okay now let's make a sketch right on that plane make it a positioned one right there and you could use that point as reference for the orientation so go to a projection no sorry there you go projection point that would be this point and okay now let's hide for a moment the surface and the yellow projected elements and I need a circle and the center should be coincident to the projection okay and let's say diameter is 20 Okay. And I want this sketch and that plane in the set. So go plane sketch 2, selected objects, change geometrical set to set 2. inside yes no inside in last position no and okay now it's inside i need another plane which might be with a distance to this one in that geometrical set so let's go for geometrical set two no three sorry another plane with an offset to this one okay 
offset from plane from this one and that might be minus 2. And I want to project that circle onto that one. So go for project this circle normal onto that plane. Okay. So let's make this the active geometrical set. And usually you should, yeah, that's okay. I go for a sweep. This one. Let's show our extrude right here. And that would be the draft direction. In this case, it's that direction. And the angle might be, let's say, 10 degrees. And I want to go for that solution, that's okay. And the distance 20, that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. But, okay, and I need a fill. So I want to fill that circle and okay. And that fill is in the right geometrical set. Yes, let's hide our extrude for the moment and hide the sketch and I want to do a shape fillet this surface and that surface and make it three millimeters okay that's the first geometric set go to the second geometrical set hide this one and let's do another sweep that's again with draft direction and the direction would be that plane of course or that plane and now let's go for that solution 10 degrees it's okay and let's see if it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Now another fill. I want to fill this circle. Confirm. Hide the projected curve and let's make a shape fill it between this surface and that fill and again three millimeter okay now let's show both our geometrical sets now let's Make this the active one and make a shape fill it between that surface and this one. Hide for the moment so you could check how it looks. Go for a shape fill it. Now that surface with this surface. Depending on the directions of the arrows, you could control what happens. Let's make a preview. That's the one I want. If you change the arrows, you got this option, that option, 
and I go back. That's the one I want. Three. Nice. Now let's show this one. And again, do a shape fillet. With this one and that one. Again, check the errors. And that's the one solution I want to have. And I got my Diabolo. Now let's check if I could do it with a bigger radius. I could go for parameter or just go to sketch 2 and change that value to let's say 30. Leave the sketch and it's okay. And I could move the point as well. That would be point 1. Let's make it a distance from the middle point. Make it let's say 10. And it still works. And I could go for even bigger radius or diameter. Let's say 40. And it still works. Okay, nice. So, hope you enjoyed this one. If you want to see more, give it a like, leave a comment. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe to my Facebook cat page as well. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye bye.